flowers now lay at the steps of this Wallingford home, two days after two adults and two children were found dead inside. Flames are uh, starting to engulf the front. Seattle police officers and firefighters responding to the home for two reasons. Stand by for PD. All units responding possibly have a domestic issue. And this was set on fire. All units stand by. The Seattle Police Department confirmed an 11 year old girl escaped the house and went to a neighbor for help. 911 was called to report someone was already dead in the house. Officers showed up within five minutes of that 911 call. By then, the house was on fire and they couldn't get inside because something was blocking the front door. Once firefighters put the fire out, the bodies of four people plus a dog were found. It's so real though that something so tragic and you have no idea what's happening and it's right around your corner. David Pulitz lives up the street from this home. I just remember waking up and it was really smoky in my house. You know, I just opened up my window I just see this massive billowing of clouds. David, like many others in this community, are waiting for answers. It's terrible to know that the family, you know, is lost, you know. But they live on in us, you know, and things like this we can remember and we can give on to others, you know. So. Several people in the neighborhood told me that a family did live in this home. We're expecting to learn their names and how they died in the following week. In Seattle, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.